All right, this video is a warning for all Christian men who are walking on this narrow path. People in your life are going to betray you. And oftentimes it's gonna be the people that you thought were your friends. And uh, obviously I'm making this video because I've experienced this in my own life. And honestly, I'm starting to experience this for the first time. And I've been a Christian for over four years now. And I feel like it's really started to pick up after creating this channel and starting to be more bold in my faith and actually standing for something. <laughs> like For the longest time, I was like a baby Christian. I was not taking my faith seriously. I was not actually walking out my faith. I was the guy who you know, would have the Bible verses in his Instagram bio, but on the weekends, I was still going and getting drunk with my buddies and being a screw off degenerate. So obviously like back then, people would have looked at my life and I would have looked no different than the rest of the world. So there would be no real reason for people to persecute me or slander me because I was just like everybody else. <laughs> but all of a sudden now I'm making this content on YouTube. I'm posting videos literally three or four times a week. And all I talk about is Jesus. And because I started making these videos, I've become even more grounded in my faith because I actually have to understand what I'm talking about to be able to make these videos. If I didn't know what God's word says, or I was sitting on here yapping about random stuff, personal experiences, BS, and not actually standing firm on God's word, then nobody would watch this channel because it wouldn't be a Christian channel. It would just be Braden's life with, you know, Jesus on top, kind of like the icing on the cake, right? But that's not why people watch this channel. They watch this channel to become the masculine man that God has created them to be. And in order to be able to do that, you and I need to know God's word. So I actually have to know what I'm talking about. I actually have to make videos that convict people and tell them the truth. And in my personal life, because I've been studying God's word and it's become ingrained in me and who I am and the Holy Spirit is really working in me and changing my desires and changing me from the inside out, I'm starting to exhibit more fruits of the spirit in my day-to-day -day life, like being bold and walking the righteous path and standing up for the truth. And I know that those are not necessarily like actual fruits of the Spirit, but it's still fruit that the Holy Spirit inside of me is producing in my life. And so because I'm becoming more and more grounded in my faith and what I believe in and my values and my belief systems that are all rooted in Christ, the people in my life that I thought were Christian and I thought were my friends are now being turned away because they're like, oh man, this guy's like too, too conservative on, on the Bible, man. It's, it doesn't need to be taken that literally, okay? Like you're, you're hateful. Like you're talking badly about women, man. Like these videos are evil. You're not, you don't love people like Jesus. Jesus says that you need to love everyone, man. And you're not doing that, you're bad. You're preaching a false gospel. Jesus wouldn't talk to people that way. But I'm going on like a totally different tangent. Because of the things that I believe in and the things that I stand for, I've become very vocal on my beliefs. Like if people ask me questions about what I believe in, what kind of videos I make, and as small as like what kind of girls that I would actually want to get married to one day, and I just, you know, say it how it is. Like I don't want a career boss babe woman. I would rather marry a woman who is feminine and submitted to Christ and loves Jesus and knows her role within, you know, the future family that we would start. And she would be feminine and, and want to raise a family and not work a nine to five job for the rest of her life or become some boss babe CEO. Like I don't want that. Even something as simple as that triggers people and pisses them off. And, uh, you know, obviously I can be better with knowing my audience and knowing who I'm talking about. But at the same time, I'm standing on traditional masculine and godly values. And the people of this world are not going to understand that. And it's also going to really, really piss them off. What's interesting is because I am becoming more bold in who I am and what I believe in, it's polarizing a lot of people in my life to either love me or hate me. And what's funny is this is exactly what Jesus said would happen when picking up our cross daily and following him, right? Jesus says that he did not come down to this earth to bring peace. He came down to this earth to bring a sword, right? And the sword is the word of God, right? The truth. And he says that he came to separate mother from father, brother from sister, sister-in-law from mother-in-law, all these things, right? He came to bring division and to separate the wheat from the tares, right? The righteous from the unrighteous, right? The followers of Jesus from the rest of the world. And following Jesus is going to bring division in your own life, right? People are going to either love you or they're going to hate you. They're either going to, you know, want 
to follow Jesus or they're going to slander your name, make fun of you and belittle you and clown you. <laughs> and that's just how it is, especially if you're truly submitted to Christ and you're preaching the word of God, maybe even doing it on YouTube or on social media. People are going to hate you. They're going to persecute you. This is nothing new. This should not be a surprise to anybody. But my advice to you is you need to be able to sharpen your discernment and understand who the people in your life are that are from God and the ones that are not from God. Because the people who are not from God, if you don't know what you're doing, they will absolutely screw you over and they will put you in a world of pain. So you have to allow the Holy Spirit inside of you to guide you on what types of people are who you should allow in your life, especially your closer relationships. And I'm talking about friends, but I'm also talking about the women that you allow in your life. And the best way to tell is the fruits that they're bearing in their life. Right? Jesus said that you will know people by their fruits and that a good tree will produce good fruit and a bad tree will produce bad fruit. He also says that a good tree cannot produce bad fruit and a bad tree cannot produce good fruit. Right? So you have to be able to tell by the way that these people live their life if they're from God or they're not from God. Don't listen to their words. Don't listen to how much BS they're going to feed you and tell you that they're a good guy and they really care about you or they're a good girl and they really want what's best for you. You have to know them by their actions, not what they say. Because talk is meaningless. Talk doesn't mean crap. And do not allow people that are not from God into your inner circle. They can be acquaintances. They can be, you know, guys that, or girls that you see at the gym or, or you, you see at church or whatever. But don't bring them into like the inner circle of the community that you have in your day-to-day -day life. They will screw you over, I promise you. Right? Think about whenever Jesus allowed Judas into his inner circle. How did that go? <laughs> I don't know that that was all in God's plan. God had to have that happen so that Jesus would die on the cross to save us all from our sins. But at the same time, it's a lesson, right? They can look like an apostle. They can look like a follower of Jesus. They can say all the right things. And it seems like they're on your side. But at the end of the day, you have to be able to test the spirits because not everyone who looks like a follower of Jesus is actually a truly born again Christian. And you need to be able to discern whether or not someone in your life is a Judas or not. Right? And don't allow the Judases in because they will F you. <laughs> and uh, none of us are going to get crucified, at least anytime soon. But they will put you in a position to get absolutely screwed just like they did to Jesus. Right? This narrow path is not for everyone. And this channel, like I said, is, is mainly focused on helping you to become the masculine man that God has created you to be. And this is a truth that not a lot of people want to hear. Not a lot of people want to hear that once you actually start following Jesus, you're going to lose friends and people are going to screw you over and they're going to slander you and make fun of you. And it's going to be difficult. Everyone wants to hear, oh man, Jesus left everybody. It's going to be easy. And you know, going to heaven is so easy. Every, everything's going to be great and you're never going to have any problems and it's all going to be prosperity and awesome. But that's not true. This narrow path is difficult and it's going to be hard for a reason. Jesus says that few will find the narrow path and that broad is the way that leads to destruction. Many people are on the broad path, but the path that you and I are on is going to be hard. And it's okay. It's good that it's hard, right? This is what James says in James chapter 1, verses 2 through 4. It says, Count it all joy, my brothers, when you meet trials of various kinds, for you know that the testing of your faith produces steadfastness. And let steadfastness have its full effect, that you may be perfect and complete, lacking in nothing. Right? So this road is going to be difficult. You will be persecuted. You will be hated. Jesus told you that you will be hated. But at the same time, it's going to produce perseverance in you. And you're going to be battle tested. You're going to go through trials and tribulations and all these difficulties. But it's going to help you to become a better, stronger, more masculine and godly man. You need to go through hard things. You need to suffer. If you want to pick up your cross daily, it's going to be hard. But at the same time, it's going to be the most rewarding life that you can live. Because whenever you die... And Jesus looks you in the face and says, well done, my good and faithful servant. I promise you, all the stuff that you've experienced on this earth, all the persecution, all the lies, the slander, the hatred that people have put towards you and, and made fun of you and all that stuff, the ridicule, none of it's going to matter. The only thing that's going to matter is that you follow Jesus and that you won souls and you preach the gospel with all boldness and that you were faithful to Christ, right? The, the most important thing is whenever we die, to be accepted into the kingdom of heaven. That's all that matters. And I promise you, if you follow this narrow path and you pick up your cross and you deny yourself daily, it's all gonna be well worth it in the end. I really hope that you enjoyed today's video. If you wanna support our channel, because this is not cheap to do all the editing and everything that goes along with keeping this channel going, 
I went ahead and put my PayPal for the first time ever in the top link in the description. If you feel led to support, obviously you can do whatever you want, right? These videos are free. Everything on this platform is completely free. But if you do want to support this channel and helping us to make better and better videos in the near future, realize that anything helps. And I really appreciate you for watching this video. I hope that God blesses you and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.